Hello and welcome! As you can see, I'm back with the Quantum Break series. There was a big delay from the first episode onwards. Actually, I put my entire channel on hiatus for about two months because I just had a lot of real life work and deadlines and all sorts of stuff to get, and obviously that's a priority. But we are back. Now, this game's a bit awkward with the leveling and everything, so I'm using this timeline feature to hopefully just get back from where I left off. I mean, if you saw that, you can probably see I've not progressed further than I did in the episode, at least, so... This will all still be fresh to me. Might just be a repeat of what's already happened. But you'll have seen it. My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission. Never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. That was weird. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions, potentially clear, turn sir. on Monarch. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR Mr. strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. Wait, what does he mean, unified? It was the first time I'd visited the Ground Zero operation in ages. The location I'd arrived in when I went 17 years back in time. The location where my fate was sealed six years ago. Now, I really do not know a lot about this game, plot-wise, but I do know that supposedly this character is meant to be kind of a tragic figure, and one who you should be of some feed with. So far, I'm finding that a little hard to believe, but I think as we go, this is pretty a complex situation. But then again, it's time travel. Time travel always is. Sir, who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. I'm I'm really gonna make a decision with her right here. What does it mean activate junction? Paul, we need your decision on how to proceed with the witnesses. My powers grew stronger even as the Cronon syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future. But it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Live action show? 
This might be what that download thing was. Hmm. Oh wait, maybe I'll just show what happens. Initialize a PR campaign. I want a steam. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, somebody sneak around down there. Hey! I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Hmm. This is tricky. Because, I mean, do I really want to help with this? Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I am very confused. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. Trusted monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. You murderer! Our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. Hmm. This is tricky. On the one hand, if I go PR, it feels like the better choice for, you know, hunting down Jack. But on the other hand, if I want him to do well, then I should be doing Hardline. Because I feel that will hurt... ...a Monarch more than anyone. But at the same time, I am also... ...screwing over a lot of people for that. I'll go PR. We can't risk any unwanted attention. Convince the witnesses not to talk. Keep eyes on them and send them home. Initialize a PR campaign. We need the city on our side. What exactly are they trying to blame Jack for? Wait, what the- She's the head of the anti-monarch movement. I think we're looking at the new face of our campaign. There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! Yeah, just take a leisurely stroll through time. What the? I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. <laughs> I like that it actually says what the, everyone else does. Apparently Mars Bars agrees with what I did. <laughs> Probably because they've done it themselves. All right, looks like we've got some live action stuff now. Time's up. The one in the middle, I assume that's your mother. The left, of course, your father, and on the right, the little one. How old is she? One fourteen Lafayette. Is that correct? That was taken not five minutes ago by my associate Michael. Damn. What do you want? This guy's intimidating. I want a statement. And you don't want Michael outside of your house a moment longer. What 
What happens to me? Well, that's entirely up to you. Clever girl. I'm so glad we could work this out. That's some good acting by that guy. Like, you know, he didn't even raise his voice, and he's just like, you know, super intimidating and furtive. I mean, like, I think that's much more entertaining a villain than the kind who has to yell at his subordinates all the time. Your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important, you just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Ooh. Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. What sort of stuff does he do for an arc? Did, did he know she'd been calling? Damn, that building is... a bit ugly. I mean, it's a cool style, but... it's weird. It doesn't fit with the rest of the city. Good thing about our friend Stan is Stan makes it easy. See, the guy goes around using the same username and password everywhere he goes. Now, <laughs> that means that his cloud isn't so protected. May I present to you Exhibit A. <laughs> wow, God, this guy's swinging for the fences. And he puts it on the cloud. What is that? What are you doing, Bear? Coffee cup. No, I know it's a coffee cup, but what is it doing on my table? The fuck. You know what this is? Do they have these in Idaho? I will. Whatever. Use it. Wow. Tell me what's next, Brenner. Uh, I don't know. I know you don't know. And that makes me sad for you. All we do now is upload our girl's video to Stan and our friends at WZWY, send Stan a note with some of his private pics, and last but not least, we post a letter. That letter allows Reclaim to take full responsibility for everything that's happening. Signed sincerely, your local terrorist, Jack Joyce. You could say it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> it's <laughs> Shit. Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Me and Brenner, we just dug up some major dirt on uh, <laughs> on our news director over at WZWY. He'll be uh, he'll be running our copy and posting that girl's video within an hour. Good work, Woodcut. Where are we with Joyce? Joyce? Uh, well, I. I got a lock on his transpo. I'm mean, packed into his camera. I'm, I'm waiting to find a locale. It's not. It's not. It's not incredibly easy. Keep an eye on it. And when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor. Hello. Well, I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. <laughs> Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Jeez, what a get the fuck out of my office. What a dick. I still find it hard to believe someone would put something like that on a cloud. You know, you don't put personal shit, and I mean like you know embarrassing personal shit, on on multiple devices. 
Especially if like you've got some big time career where you know you're susceptible to blackmail. Because you know what, news reporters, people like that, they do occasionally get it. Depending on what they report on and stuff like that. You know, big public figure jobs, that's the stuff that you don't want to have anything embarrassing possible for someone else to read. Em? Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. What kind of response is that? A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are these big furry bear paws? Way too big for your body. It was a weird lady. But I knew it was you. What the? I have to get back to work soon. What the fuck does any of this mean? Oh. Didn't even think that'd be an issue. Oh, there we go. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. That's what you tell your wife. Get a better lie. Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is, I'm being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what <happened? Stop. laughs> I don't think that's the baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> Close your eyes. And when you open them, he'll be gone. Oh, no, he's actually gonna stick around for a bit. on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transport to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. Inside ground zero perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. You know, for a company this rich, it seems odd they would focus on a local city, or have such a reputation for focusing on a local city. I mean, given that they've got a skyscraper, they've got to be a pretty big company. Is he happy by this? Right down the street from Monarch headquarters, 
and has helped eager students from all over the country to further their dreams and interest in technological research and design. And with Monarch's greatest investment in the future being right here in Riverport, it's pretty clear how bright the future is for all of us. They're laying it on pretty thick. There's been a development. Jack, you've already seen it tonight on the island. He'll be there and he'll want revenge. We need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided to you. Your fifth calm traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just I can't get a read on this guy. of Jack Joyce. I want people to know that he is a very dangerous person. A terrorist. Really? What's his political motivation? Thanks. We really appreciate your bravery going on record to speak out against what appears to be such a dangerous person. I was over in the lab at the university this morning. Someone saw the equation. Oh, that was me. Well, technically it was William, but I'm pretty sure that was the quantum ripple they spoke about. Search for Jack Joyce and keep the people of Riverport safe as this very unsettling story continues to unfold. Sup, IT. And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance. Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so. You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the, what's you can the 411? Do that? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the 411. Yeah, the 411. <laughs> uh, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's fine? Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're going to cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You going to go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. I don't know. We can roll together if you want. OK. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. OK, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, uh. Maybe I'll go naked. I doubt you have the body for it. Like um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. That guy's mustache just looks very odd to me. I'll see you tonight. Yeah. It's just kind of weird. I was missing the, you know, middle bit. Buddy. I don't know if I'm enjoying this or not. Take the shot. Take the shot. Shoot him. Liam, this isn't what it looks like. Shoot her. Fuck Beth. Beth, shoot him. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. 
Step away, right now. Drop the gun. I can't do that. You've three seconds till I pull. I had better reflexes. Then you're a marksman for shit. Mm. Oh, he's up. No. no. Well, he's not going to go back. He's gone. Do you see what's happening? The starters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what? Of the end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it. The entire universe gone, and somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding to I did not give call. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! Maybe if they take me in, that is the end for me. And for you. Now! I'm just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find a lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Leo! Shut up! And that is why you keep your distance when you have a gun. It is not a knife. It does not get better when you stand a centimeter away from them. Ah, oh. damn it! Was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? What an odd name. Just because it sounds like just because it sounds like they've got the first name. Oh, he's fired. Gotcha, buddy. Patch is gonna love this. Oh, shit. The fucking golden boy. nothing there he, like he just wasn't there like or what no hatch he um he reassigned me he wants me to secure the perimeter lab on the island he thinks joyce might go there he sent me here to get access to it can you help me out yeah sure let me uh, let me see what i can do it's weird that he knew joyce was gonna go to the island or did he just say that as a lie to you know it's really funny that you say that uh, that lead on joyce was no good because Oh, uh, uh it sure looks damn. like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch, and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. You idiot. Now, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me, because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm going to do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's going to do to you. In about 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 
Good luck, buddy. Nine. Eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B, near the main overpass. Just a reminder to Monarch employees, get your flu shots, they are free of charge, get them in HR. Damn, free flu shots? I don't live in America, so I don't know if you usually have to pay for flu shots, but it's pretty good for the company to provide it. If this building was even a little bit, little bit more, you know, common, then none of this would be happening. He's not a fucking superhero. Brenner, I'm dealing with it. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> He's in the building. Yeah. Poor Brenner. I can't hope Brenner gets like some big redeeming. No, not redeeming. That's not his word. I just hope he gets like some big moment to be a, you know, badass at some point. South parking structure. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. I cannot believe he's getting away. Oop, that's gonna cost you. Setting up the entrance. Wait, they want him alive or dead? Or just... They want him dealt with? I wonder how different this would be if I'd chosen the other path. Okay, there's no way he's getting out of this. 